suicide attack yesterday that brought back painful memories of 9-11 for a lot of people. A man who was angry with the IRS flew his plane into an office building in Austin, Texas, where the IRS had its local offices. At least two people are dead this morning, including the pilot. CBS News correspondent Don Teague is in Austin this morning with the latest. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Maggie. Family and friends of Joseph Stack are still in shock over what happened here yesterday and at a loss to understand why he snapped. Moments before crashing his airplane into an Austin office building, Joseph Stack sounded eerily calm, making calls to an airport control tower from his Piper Cherokee. What's your direction of flight, sir? But shortly after, the man some described as a nerdy software engineer caused chaos by deliberately plowing his plane into this building, apparently targeting the Internal Revenue Service employees who worked inside. It did not look like he didn't have control. It didn't look like, it looked like he was just flying, as smooth as can be. In an apparent online suicide note, Stack railed against the rich and the IRS, saying violence was the only answer. He began the day by setting his house on fire, then making his suicide flight into the building. Those who knew Stack and his wife still can't believe it. I am completely shocked by all this. They were, they're good, decent, honest people, and I'm so sorry this has happened. I'm so sorry this has happened to Cheryl. Overnight, authorities did remove two bodies from the building. One is believed to be Joseph Stack, the other pilot, the, or the pilot, the other body is of a victim, an IRS employee. Maggie? Don Teague in Austin, Texas. Thanks, Don.